What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another favorites video for you. Today I'm sharing my much anticipated top 23 nail polishes of 2023. Now if you missed it, I also like to do a video on my top five favorite collections of 2023. I already posted that one so I'll pop it in the cards if you're interested in checking that out. But today's video is more about individual shades that I loved the most this year. Shades that I found myself reaching for over and over again even though I have a huge collection. And overall just colors and formulas that I thought were really unique, really good quality, that sort of thing. Now I will say this is exactly 23 nail polishes and it was very difficult for me to pick the 23. When I first came up with this list, I actually had 54. I tried my best not to include too many repeats, so hopefully this won't be just me being a broken record, but I do have a lot of really beautiful shades in here and hopefully you will like my picks. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. Now I am going to go in rainbow order here instead of favorite order just because it would be literally impossible for me to rank these. So I'm going to start off with the only red on this list, which is Starly Flame Jelly. And this was a huge standout for me this year. I've actually worn it multiple times, even though it did come out in late summer. This one is actually a red jelly. So it does have an intentionally sheer base, but it is buildable. This is a really perfect shade if you love to mix and match nail polishes, because for me personally, I love a jelly sandwich. I love sandwiching polishes in between jellies to kind of create a new polish. But even just on its own, it's such a juicy red. It feels so bright and fun, but it also just feels like a very classic any time of year red to me. The formula is truly amazing. And even in one coat, I didn't find it to be patchy at all. And I just really love the Starly Jelly formula. I think they did an amazing job with this one. Next up, we actually have another Starly. This one is very new to my collection. This one is called Fairy Floss. I actually just recently reviewed this in their Winter Carnival 2023 collection and I instantly fell in love. I have very much been into magnetics in 2023 and I have a feeling it's going to continue into 2024, but this one is truly one of the most unique magnetic polishes I've ever seen. Honestly, just applying it like a normal polish, it doesn't seem all that special. It's kind of just this peachy salmon color, but when you magnetize this, especially in the cat eye style, it totally transforms all of that magnetic pigment, which is gold, just goes to the center. And then you're left with this really gorgeous pink that has an intense purpley fuchsia shimmer running throughout. And it's just such an unexpected combination, such an unexpected color. I feel like it's going to be a perfect spring and summer shade as well. And I just thought it was so beautiful and unique. I absolutely had to mention it. Next, we have a shade from OPI. This one is called the Leon Lee One. <laughs> and this was part of their Zodiac collection for summer 2023. And this was just a standout for me. It's a really stunning gold shimmer, but it actually has this almost green toned yellow shimmer running throughout, which I think makes it look so unique and interesting, especially when the light is hitting it. You can almost see that kind of greenish color coming through. And even though yellow polishes tend to not suit my skin tone, I can't resist wearing them, especially because this one just felt so different and funky. It's just a really beautiful twist on a gold nail polish. It does have a little bit of a brush strokiness to it, but personally, I like that because I think it makes my nails look a little bit longer, even though I do keep them at a very short length. So yeah, really beautiful polish, really great formula. Next up, we've got yet another Starly. I promise this is the last one of the top 23 that is Starly, but they just made some really incredible shades this year. This one is actually called Radon, and this is a super bright neon highlighter yellow cream. And this one just had me in love at first sight. It's such an incredibly easy to use formula and neons are something that I do tend to struggle with unless the formula is very workable because they do tend to be on the thicker, gummier kind of side. And this one was just very easy to work with. And the color is just so intensely eye searingly bright. It's crazy that I can wear this color without a white base underneath and it still manages to look so vibrant and opaque. Just a really impressive formula. Again, really incredible. It doesn't feel like a neon. It's definitely on the thicker side, but I find that to be just the way that Starly does their cream formulas in general. So if you like their formula, I feel like this is just the perfect neon yellow. Speaking of neons, we've got a shade from Cadillacer. This one is called Sky Dancer, and this one is the most glorious neon green Crelly. So it kind of sits somewhere between being a cream and being a jelly. It does have this 
opalescent flaky running throughout that you can see through the layers of the green base and it's so beautiful I just love this very intense contrast between that neon green base and those almost opalescent iridescent flakes they head on look mostly orangey copper but you can also see a little bit of yellow into green and even just the tiniest hint of purple and blue in there and I just think it's such a fun twist on a neon polish this was part of their summer 2023 collection that made it to my top five favorites I just thought it was such an impressive collection but I just especially loved this formula because I love neon but I do find them to be relatively difficult to work with like I just mentioned but having it be in this sort of Crelly formula kept it feeling very bright and vibrant without being difficult to use so I just thought that was very impressive moving on we've got a shade from ice cream nails this one is called envious and this one is actually a full coverage glitter and this is just such a unique glitter to me it's actually a pretty uniform green micro glitter and we actually have this green holographic glitter in there but we also have a deeper almost bluish green as well as a neon matte green glitter so from far away it honestly kind of looks like an unassuming nail polish it just seems like your average everyday green glitter but when you look at it up close I feel like that's when it starts to look really special and different because I just have never seen this combination in a glitter before and I think it just works so well it looks super cool and I just can't get enough of it I feel like green is a very underrated color and I feel like this color wasn't talked about enough and of course I love green enough that I've got more to show you this one is Avalon from picture polish and this is actually a new addition to a previous collection that they had released and it was all these really beautiful jellies that had metallic flakies this one in particular is just this beautiful deep forest green jelly and it is packed with different sizes and shapes of silver metallic flakies and it just gives such a cool effect on the nails and of course it's a really good formula I love the picture polish formula I just love their very boutique feel and this one in particular I just thought was such a beautiful deep polish I love the visual interest of having those silver flakes in there and I just I thought the theme was very fun as well of that whole collection next up we have a England Raphael and this one is a linear hollow polish that actually is this really subtle green color it's almost like a grayed out neutral <laughs> but then we also have this intense lime green shimmer running throughout that just makes it look so different and funky in my opinion and I just really haven't seen a color like this I think it's absolutely stunning I think it's so different but I also feel like it's soft enough that if you're not really used to wearing green nail polishes it doesn't feel super weird to have on your nails it almost like feels like a neutral but with just a hint of green and also of course having that linear hollow in there really helps just make it feel very sparkly and elegant so I love the A England formula and I just think it's a really unique and beautiful color next up we have a shade from Mooncat this is Mad Hatter this was part of their Alice in Wonderland collab which I absolutely loved it's another magnetic shade as you know I've been really loving the magnetics in 2023 but this one is just this really beautiful almost multi-chromatic magnetic it's got this intense gorgeous green shimmer in there but you can also see a little bit of purple and there's just a really beautiful mix of iridescent flakes and hollow sparkle running throughout and when you magnetize it I think it just becomes otherworldly again it's just a polish unlike anything I've seen before and just having the combination of all of those elements it just feels so interesting and different and it definitely does have a little bit of a whimsical feel so I think it's a really fun shade I immediately fell in love with it when I first got it and the Mad Hatter does happen to be my favorite character in Alice in Wonderland so I knew I was gonna like it moving on we have a shade from Orly this one is called Close Call this was from their summer 2023 collection and I just thought that collection was so different but again we had a really nice standout shade in this one it's this beautiful almost turquoise shimmer but what makes it interesting is it's actually that pearlized brush strokey shimmer which I feel like you really don't see in brighter colors especially in like a summery kind of color so I just thought this was so interesting the formula was really nice I love that brush strokiness it just really 
really elongates my nail bed and I think it's just such a beautiful color to have in that type of finish. So yeah, another standout for me, really impressive formula, really beautiful color. Okay, I tried my best not to include any collabs in this top 23, but I do have two collab shades that I felt I absolutely had to mention. And this is the first of them. This is Orly Kelly Solstice. This is actually what I'm wearing on my nails right now. And this was a collab that I released as part of my Galaxy Remix collection with Orly. And basically we set out to make summery versions of some of my previous shades with them. And this just felt like such a vibrant and exciting color. It's this really beautiful blue base that has this gorgeous, almost greenish blue shimmer running throughout, as well as teeny tiny gold flecks, just to add a little bit of dimension. And I just think it's such a perfect summery color, but I also feel like it works very well for winter because there's just something a little bit icy about it. But I also just feel like the formula in general of this one is especially good. I feel like the remix shades, for whatever reason, they have such an incredible wear time. And I just found that to be really impressive. Obviously I am biased because I had a part in making these polishes, but this really was a standout to me. I think it's such a special color. It's so bright and eye catching. And whenever I've worn it, people have complimented me, which feels very good. <laughs> Next up, we have a shade that is probably no surprise to anyone. This is Mooncat House of Hades. And I feel like I've mentioned this polish a lot. It definitely got a lot of hype. And honestly, it is absolutely worth the hype. It's just this stunning cobalt blue shimmer. And what makes that shimmer so beautiful and intense is that it's actually iridescent flakies running throughout. And it really just has that lit from within sort of glow to it. It's a little bit on the thinner side, so it does take three coats for full coverage. But once you get that on your nails full coverage, it is beyond stunning. Honestly, I don't even think that cameras capture this one accurately. I think it's so much prettier in real life. It just feels like the perfect blue for really any time of year. It feels like a perfect holiday wintry kind of blue, but it's also just so intensely vibrant that it feels like a perfect summer blue, especially like a summer nights kind of vibe. So yeah, absolutely stunning shade. Definitely a hyped polish, but for very good reason. Speaking of blue shades, I also have KB Shimmer Freeze the Day. And this was just another shade that I thought was too unique to ignore. It's a really beautiful blue shimmer. But within that blue shimmer, we have this really gorgeous, larger iridescent flake running throughout that gives it this almost snowy, snow falling kind of feel to it, which I think is absolutely stunning. Unlike anything in my collection, I love that they went with these larger flecks because I think that that really makes it stand out from other shades like this that I own. But it really does just feel like the perfect snowy polish. It's so vibrant and eye catching and KB Shimmer is always so opaque on me and it's just so easy to work with. I feel like this is always the brand that I recommend people who are looking for a beginner friendly indie brand. Definitely an amazing shade and again, just so unique. Next up, we have a polish from Rogue Lacquer. This one is called Ghoulish Greetings and this was part of their Halloween collection and this was just another shade that was so incredibly unique and unlike anything I own that I immediately fell in love with it. It's this really beautiful periwinkle jelly kind of base and then within that base we've got black flakies as well as iridescent yellow to green to blue flakes that are a little bit on the larger side and I just think that makes for such a beautiful combination. I love that Rogue Lacquer isn't afraid to use those black flakies in their polishes because it's such a bold choice, but I think it always adds such a beautiful contrast to whatever they're creating. And this combination of the black plus that soft ethereal sort of iridescent just feels so cool. It's definitely a great Halloween-y ghosty kind of shade, but it also feels like the exact type of shade that I would love to wear in the springtime because it has just enough vibrance to feel warmer weather is coming, but it still has enough of that sort of dreariness to feel like the season is still a little bit on the cold side. You know what I mean? I love how unique Rogue Lacquer's polishes are, but I do especially love their jellies because I think they're just so easy to work with. Moving on, we have a shade from Hollow Taco. This one is called Cool Cat Mom. And this is another magnetic shade because the magnetics really have my heart this year. This one is a really stunning magnetic purple shade. And we really have such a beautiful combination of purples in here. So we do have that blue toned purple, but then we also have the brighter fuchsia kind of color. 
color and combined it just makes for such a unique shade and then we also get a little touch of hollow sparkle in here as well so I love when hollow taco comes out with these unique type of shades I think this one is especially stunning if I do it in the aura or velvet style because I think it almost creates a natural gradient on my nails I love a purple but I especially love a magnetic purple next up we have Sark Colors Venetian Sky and this is the other of the two collab shades that I absolutely had to include in my top 23 because this was just another total standout to me this was part of my collaboration with Cirque we did a Vegas themed nail polish collection which was so special because I really wanted to immortalize my move to Vegas and I really wanted to showcase it in nail polish colors and Venetian Sky is just such an eye-catching color it's one of their shimmer graphic formulas so it's a combination of a shimmer and a holographic polish so it's this really beautiful cooler toned purple base but we have this intense fuchsia shimmer running throughout it does have a little bit of a duochrome to it so around the edges you can see a little bit of gold into even green and then we also just have an intense amount of hollow sparkle it really just feels like a scattered hollow polish with that extra shimmer in there and it's just such a beautiful shade I think Cirque makes such gorgeous purples and purple is my favorite nail polish color to wear so I knew when I tried it that it was a winner I love it so much I think it looks so beautiful in the light but it also looks really beautiful in indirect lighting because of that shimmer so there's just always something going on with it which I think is so special next up we have another Cirque shade this one's called a pixie hollow and this is another purple because like I said Cirque makes really good purple shades but this one is actually more of a periwinkle kind of color definitely very purple leaning and again it is in that shimmer graphic formula so we've got this really intense amount of a scattered hollow sparkle running throughout and then we also have this really beautiful sharp contrast with the shimmer because it's this gorgeous lime green kind of color and then around the edges you can actually see a little bit of like a pinky color so I do believe it is an iridescent shimmer in here but it's so beautiful I love these very contrasty colors where a polish will be one color as the base but then have a very opposite kind of color as the shimmer I just think it comes together so beautifully and especially when the light hits it it just looks so vibrant and different and unlike anything that I have so it's another shade that I think is really special and the formula is very easy to work with moving on we have a shade from Zoya this one is called Bisu and I have to say in general Zoya really impressed me in 2023 I think they came out with a lot of really interesting collections and finishes this was one of the shades that I just couldn't get enough of it's this soft very slightly purple leaning pink shade and then within that we have a lot of silver hollow micro glitters and then we also have a little bit of a shimmer running throughout so it's this really beautiful combination of being a very soft subtle dreamy kind of shade but also being very intense with that holographic sparkle so I thought this was a really incredible formula and a really beautiful style of polish especially coming from a mainstream brand so I would really love to see them do this type of polish in more colors I think it's just such an easy formula to work with and it ended up looking so beautiful I feel like this would be such a great wedding color especially with that extra little sparkle in there but it really just feels like a good any time of year color moving on we have another moon cat shade this one is called sand viper and this was part of their midnight rodeo collection which I loved so much and this was just one of the best neutrals of the year in my opinion it's this really gorgeous soft blush pinky beige base color and then we had this gorgeous almost fiery iridescent shimmer within it that head-on looks mostly like this coppery orange color but it also shifts into gold and then even into green at certain angles it just feels like the perfect mixture of being a soft office appropriate neutral kind of shade while also having that beautiful lit from within glow and honestly I'm really impressed because I am a very warm undertoned person and I feel like colors like this don't usually suit my undertone but this one just feels like a universally flattering shade so I thought it was absolutely stunning I can't get enough of it this is another shade that I actually think would be a really beautiful bridal sort of color but it also just feels like a perfect any time of year neutral kind of shade to me next up we've got 
another neutral. This is ILNP Daybreak, and this was part of their very recent Overcast collection for winter 2023. And this one is another really soft neutral shade. We've got this very slightly pinky toned beige base color, and then it's packed with this iridescent flaky that head on looks mostly pink into copper, into orange, into gold. And then we also have a very subtle little hollow sparkle running throughout. This is just the perfect opalescent polish to me. It feels like a perfect soft neutral shade, but again, we do get that vibrance of having that iridescent color in there. I love the very soft, delicate flakes. It also just feels like a perfect palette cleanser for your nails, you know? It's got so much going on in it, but it's still very soft and dreamy, and it really does look like opals on your nails, and I think it would be especially gorgeous with a matte top coat over it. Next, we have a shade from OPI. This one is called Yay or Nay, and this was actually part of their holiday 2023 collection, but it did come out relatively early. And I actually wore this one as a Halloween polish. And I feel like it just feels like a perfect Halloween color to me. It's this gray jelly base. And then within it, it is packed with different flakies. So we've got silver, gold, and then we also have bronze metallic flakies running throughout. They're super tiny and delicate, but they combine to make such an interesting heathered sort of look. And this was definitely given me like a tombstone sort of vibe, like a very natural stone kind of texture. And I thought it was so cool. I especially loved seeing this from a mainstream brand because it really does feel like an indie style polish. And I know that a lot of people did not like this color because it's not your classic pretty nail polish, but it definitely is very intriguing as a color. I just thought, I don't know, it's very visually interesting. It's different. It's kind of ugly, but like in a cool way. So yeah, I don't know. I just really love this one. Next up, we have a shade from Painted Polish, and this is actually another Halloween color. This one is called Booze Cruise, and this one is a white curly nail polish that is packed with all of the Halloween-y colors. So we've got teeny tiny glitters that are metallic orange, light purple, darker, almost blue purple. We've got green in there. This is basically just like a little funfetti Halloween color to me, and even though I wouldn't wear this shade any time of year, it feels like truly a perfect Halloween shade. It's so whimsical and fun, so it doesn't have that sort of creepiness of Halloween. So it's definitely more of the whimsical, fun kind of vibe of Halloween rather than the scary, gory kind of parts of Halloween. But I think that's just what makes it so special. It feels so bright and fun, but it also feels so festive. And I just love the painted polish formula. I think they're so easy to work with. Somehow they're incredibly opaque. White Krellies can sometimes be up to three coats, but Painted Polish has managed to absolutely nail this formula, no pun intended, and they are just so incredibly opaque on me. Two coats is always perfect. It's a really fun and festive shade. And last but not least, we have Polish number 23. This is a topper from Orly, and it's called Spirit of Peace, and this was part of their collaboration with NASA, which was so special to me. I think they did such an incredible job with it, and this topper is just such a funky combo, and I really feel like you can wear it over any color, which is so fun. It's actually a mixture of matte white micro glitters, mini gold glitters, and then a golden yellow shimmer running throughout. So over black, it's super stunning. Honestly, really beautiful on its own as well. But really, I feel like this could be paired with any color to make it appropriate for any time of year. You could wear this over red for a kind of Christmassy vibe or even a Lunar New Year vibe. You could wear it over like a soft lavender for a more springy vibe. You could wear it over a turquoise color for a more summery vibe, or you could even wear it over like a deep forest green and get a little bit more of that fall vibe. So honestly, I feel like this would work over any color. It's so beautiful. I love the combination of a matte glitter with a metallic glitter. I think it's just so different. And I think it just brings a lot of interest to the nail. So it's a really fun topper. Definitely my favorite topper of the year. But yeah, there you have it. My top 23 nail polishes of 2023. Like I said, I did have a hard time narrowing it down. So if you're looking for more favorites, I do have my top five collections of the year. And I also have my top winter favorites of this season. So check that out as well. I'm curious to hear from you. What was your top favorite nail polish this season? Or if you want to give me a list, definitely do that in the comments. We can chat about it and let me know if we have any overlapping favorites. And if you enjoy these types of videos, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. 
job. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge thank you to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Angel. I really appreciate your support and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from a Patreon supporter, Dominique, and Dominique wants to know, what is the weirdest food combination you secretly enjoy? Okay, so I actually do have a very interesting food combination. I did stop eating this when Ryan and I moved in together because it's kind of an abomination if I'm being honest, <laughs> but it was really delicious. So here was the combination that I did. I would cook store-bought yellow rice until it was almost done. And then when it had a couple of minutes left and it was still fairly wet, I would add a whole can of tuna fish and then I would add fresh vegetables. So it would usually be cut up green onion and bell pepper. And then I would do a handful of non-dairy cheese. It did smell bad, but it was so delicious. What an incredible combination of foods. I, I really love that. Honestly, I miss it. I don't know. I, I feel like Ryan wouldn't mind if I cooked it, but I do feel like the smell of heating up canned tuna is not really the best smell. I don't know. I, I just felt like I shouldn't cook it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a really delicious combination. So if anybody else has any funky combinations that they would recommend for food, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll try it out. And that is it. So I will see you all in my next video.